What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Taurus, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sign of Taurus. This is an AP of Taurus in any aspects of your chart. Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Go through the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sign of Taurus. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support of the channel. We're at 12,990 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate all the love and support. I really, really, really do. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I just want to let everybody know that. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Charles 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, only if you feel guided um, to donate. Okay, you guys? I just put that at the top of all my videos. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, social media, and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Helps a single mama and two kids. It helps one of her income streams. So I really appreciate it. Spirit messages you have for her son for us. This could resonate with course in any aspect of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or Jupiter charts. Uh, I suggest everybody um, check out at least their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs. Um, to you know, when cross watchers are always welcome as well. But if you do that, you have you can view view the signs that are important in your chart, and um, sometimes it gives you more messages and more clarity, possibly. Um, but you know, of course, you have free will, and you don't have to if you don't want to. Spirit messages you have signs. I did receive um, a couple channelings as I was meditating on your energy for June of 2022, because this is for June of 2022, um, and I will deliver them. Okay, so the first one I heard, um, uh, a Taurus is about to be very, very, very upset because another Taurus is about to move in on their love interest. And I heard Taurus masculines. For some, it is a Taurus, uh, a Taurus masculine is about to get very upset because a Leo masculine is about to move in on your love interest. So heavy Taurus masculine energy, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, and, and that's all I've heard so far. So we have two situations is what I'm feeling. Spirit messages, you have sun for us. The first one, it's a, well, they're all Taurus, they're all, both situations are Taurus masculines, okay? But the first situation, another Taurus is going to move in on a Taurus masculine's love interest. That's situation one. Situation two, it's a Taurus masculine too, but it's a Leo masculine about to move in on a Taurus masculine's love interest. So both situations are both Taurus masculines, but the difference is, is, in one situation, it's a Taurus masculine about another Taurus masculine about to move in on your love interest. They are Taurus masculine. Or you could be the Taurus masculine about to move in on the, this other Taurus masculine um, love interest. How that resonates. And the other situation is Leo masculine about to move in. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Um, however that resonates. In both situations, um, it's... It, it, in both situations, is a Taurus masculine that wants to be with somebody, but they're not making taking any action towards this person. Now, it could be a masculine or fem energy. They want to take mas um, they want to take masculine. They want to take action towards, but they're not taking any action, like stubborn or standoff energy or what have you. But this other Taurus masculine is about to start making power play moves. This other Leo masculine is about to start making power play moves. So as much as you want to be with this masculine or this feminine energy Taurus, if you resonate over here with the standoff, hold your ground, stubborn energy, they're about to make power play moves. Just let you know. I mean, if that message or messages apply for you, there messages you have some for us. Whoever you are, Taurus masculine, and however that applies, okay? Spirit messages you have signed for us.
A lot of quick movement is about to happen for a lot of Tauruses very soon. Some in a positive sense, some in a negative sense. Okay, I heard a lot of quick movement is about to happen in a lot of Tauruses' lives. Some, some of you guys, it's in a positive aspect for you. Some it's in a negative aspect. So, um, only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, if you're on the positive aspect or the negative aspect, okay? Way too many. It's like, there's six. So maybe one of you guys is emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or somebody's emotional over you, or maybe you have addictions, or somebody you're dealing with has addictions. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, but when cards come out in that excess like that, it could indicate someone being over-emotional about you, or you being over-emotional about someone, or addictions in some shape, form, or fashion. Spirit messages you have sent for us. I definitely feel one of you guys is stubborn because it's taken me freaking forever to get these cards out. I'm just being for real. Number 50 could be very significant number of one's life. Number 50, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number of one's life. Number 50. Spirit messages you have sun toys. And for some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign because you have phoenix and whale energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Minty, and Jupiter charts. If you are, Taurus. Holy crap, it's taking forever. Which I know you were earth signs, but dear Lord have mercy. Spirit messages you have sun toys. A Taurus is about to learn of a death soon. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to learn of a death soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I don't think it, obviously it's not you. It's um, somebody else. I mean, well, I hope you it, Obviously not you. It, I think it's another sign is what I'm saying. Um, I think it's another sign. I don't think it's a Taurus. Uh, I heard a Taurus is about to learn of a death soon. So I think this, whoever this person is that is about to pass away, um, already, already has passed away, maybe for some, and you're about to learn the death very soon, or they're about to pass away, how that resonates. I don't think they have Taurus in their chart, that's what I'm saying. I think it's another sign. Okay, so we have Phoenix and Whale, Heels, Obstacles to Overcome, Kite, Vacation, Cup, You Should Accept Valid Criticism, House, Angel is Strength. Phoenix? A Taurus is about to move physical locations, far locations, very soon to benefit their career. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a Taurus is about to move physical, far locations soon to benefit their career. So if that message applies for you, Taurus, um, you're about to you're about to move out of your city, town, province, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to go somewhere more beneficial. For your career, which makes total sense. So you're be you're about to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel you feel you're either stuck in your career, in your current city, town, province, location, etc., or you really are. How that resonates. But you are about to make power play move there and be like the phoenix rising from the ashes from your current location. That's beautiful. And for another Taurus, they're about to learn within the next three weeks that a fire sign is about to move physical locations is about to shock the hell out of you i heard specifically within the next three weeks so for one of you guys you're about to learn that a fire sign um aries leo sag i feel it to be masculine or femme aries leo sag they're about to move physical locations um like from their city town province etc 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 um and I, heard, uh, I, I think for their career, too, or it could be for some other reason. 
I think I heard career, but you'll have to go back and check it. But they're they're going to move too. But I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you if that resonates with you, for So I don't know why you would be shocked if they move. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you are going to be shocked. But in this aspect, it's this fire sign about to make strategic moves, just like the first situation, for whatever tours that that's about to resonate for, um, to benefit them, whether it's career or any other aspect. They're going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I heard you're going to learn about it within the next three weeks, and that's specific. So, you know, we're June 1st right now. I heard you're going to learn about it within the next three weeks. So I feel for some of these fire signs, they're probably going to move, obviously, within the next three weeks. Obviously. And the, um, so the next three weeks would be one, the 22nd of June. So by June 22nd, they'll probably, they'll be gone, probably. Um, or you're going to hear about it, that they're gone, how that resonates. I feel they're going to be gone, gone, gone. Like gone girl, gone. Well, A very important conversation with a, a, a severely obese person is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. You plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. It is about to become life changing. For some, it is a patient. For some, it is a grandparent. For some, it is a random stranger. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's actually turned out to be a good one. Um, I was a little worried um, while we're categorizing people within the severely obese category here. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this message applies for you, Taurus, I heard you're about to have a conversation with a severely over obese person now there are categories of obese there's there's normal weight range in bmi there's overweight there's obese and they're severely obese whoever this person is they are in the severely obese category so they're they're up there in weight no judgments here okay but they are they're very very high bmi index okay um i mean they're not even in obese they're severely so, but that's significant in here. They're very, very, very overweight, basically. But um, I heard it's about to be life-changing for you. This conversation is about to be life-changing, so it's very important. Obviously, it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. They could be a masculine or feminine energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. But I heard it's going to become life-changing for you, so I think it's going to change your perspective on person, people, place, or situation, possibly. Um for some, I heard it as a patient. So I feel for some, you work in healthcare in some shape, form, or fashion. Or you could be visiting a hospital or a long-term care or a skilled nursing facility or or um, or work in one. How that resonates. Um, some kind of patient energy. For some, it is a complete stranger. It's a complete stranger. So I feel you're going to meet them either at someone's house or randomly out in public. Um, and for some, it's a grandparent. So that could be your grandparent or somebody else's grandparent. But um, it's going to become extremely life-changing to you. I think they're about to give you some kind of wisdom or open your eyes to something um, that's about to change your perspective on something is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be a water sign because this is water sign energy or fire sign. Um, but they sound wise, I'll tell you that. Or they sound enlightened. How that resonates. I feel it's going to be a positive conversation. I just want to say that. I feel it's going to be a positive conversation for sure. I do. A termination is about to become significant in a course's life as well. 
and a termination is about to become significant and enforce its life as well, is what I heard. So um, that could be you about to get terminated, Taurus, or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of termination energy or somebody that's already been terminated. I feel it could be you that is about to get terminated, somebody you're connected to is about to get terminated, or somebody's already been terminated that's connected to you. However, that resonates in one's life, but some kind of termination energy is about to become very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. And an investigation. And an investigation. So a termination and an investigation is about to become significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be investigation on you, investigation on somebody else, termination to you, termination to somebody else. How would that apply? Okay. But I will tell you, with the Phoenix rising energy in the whale, I think um, I think a fire is about to get lit under somebody's ass to do an investigation over some kind of termination, whether it was your termination or somebody else's termination. I just feel that intuitively, um, looking at the cards and hearing the messages and all that. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Heals obstacles to overcome. Uh, confirmation from my fat boy, by the way. He's not severely obese. He's obese. He's just overweight, my little baby. But he is going bananas with confirmations. Obstacles to overcome. A particular tourist is about to learn their phone is tapped. one they're about to learn it because they're about to get communication from a, a party girl and weird things are about to start happening in your life after you communicate with this party girl pretty pretty heavily oh my lord you plug it in how it resonates so one of you guys is about to communicate with a party girl now, um, I'm feeling this is somebody that's, you know, they can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, but there's somebody that, it's somebody that goes to the club, basically. They go to the club all the time. For some, they could be strippers um, or escorts. There's somebody that like the fast life. I'll tell you that. They could be prostitutes for some, but they like the fast life. Um, party, 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 party all the time. Um, drinking up the mimosas flying on other people's dimes um partying up woo, 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 like you know using their body and manipulation basically to get what they want um all the time like i mean there's nothing wrong with looking good trust me i hell i want to look good absolutely but am i going to manipulate somebody to so i go out and get some surgery done on myself hell no i mean i'm not saying these people do that i'm just saying it's somebody that I think they care a lot about their looks, and I think they um, um, are always out. They're always out. They're not like, they don't ever take a break and a breather, like codependent energy. They don't ever take a break and a breather to be by their damn selves because they're so freaking codependent. Um, but I heard one of you guys is basically about to realize your phone is tapped. After you start, I heard you're about to start communicating heavily with this party girl. For some, it could be a fire sign or a water sign party girl because you have fire sign, water sign energy. Aries, Leo, side, your Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Uh, possibly for some, maybe. But how that resonates, I heard strange things are going to start happening um, and you're going to basically intuitive, get an intuitive spike and realize your phone's, being ta uh, your phone's been tapped. Because strange things are going to start happening after you very heavily communicate with this party girl. Heavily. So, meaning, you're going to figure out somebody else knows the information other than you and the party girl is what I'm figuring. Um, is what I'm presuming here. And that could be the obstacle to overcome. Um, one of you guys about to con come into a contact with the party girl and you're about to like it. But somebody is about to realize. Um, I think you're about to realize somebody knows way more information than they should uh, because strange things are going to start happening for some it could be gang stalking and i didn't hear that it was but i feel for some it might might turn into that i would be freaking careful and one tourist is about to have to return stolen money 
and one force is about to have to return stolen money. And one Taurus is about to transfer in their in their facility. Way too stressful where they're at. And one Taurus is about to have to return stolen money. And one Taurus is about to uh, ask to transfer locations in their current facility um, because it's too stressful where they're at. So only you know your situation, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Those are all obstacles to overcome. Kite vacation. A much needed vacation coming soon for one Taurus. Much needed. Been working a lot of overtime. For one Taurus, you thought you were going to be able to take PTO, but through many series of chain of events, it's not going to happen. Oh, Lord. You plug in how it resonates. So one of you guys, you're about to go on vacation. And congrats to whoever that's for. Heard it's much needed. You've been working a lot of overtime. You've been working, 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 working. And I don't blame you. I mean, hell, everybody deserves um, to to go, you know, to use their PTO. Um, and it sounds like you, I mean, Lord, you've been working overtime and you've been working, working, working. I get it. I get it. And you sh you deserve that. Absolutely. For, that's for one. So you're about to go on vacation. I didn't hear where. Only you know where, not anybody else. For, for one, you're planning on using your vacation to, it sounds like your PTO, your pay time off as well too, but um, through many series of chain of events, something's about to happen and you're not going to be able to, to use it. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. A particular work evaluation is about to become very significant for Taurus. It's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. Okay. I heard a particular work evaluation is about to go, um, about to come for Taurus. I heard it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. So I think you think it's going to go like super awesome. And I think um, for some, you, I think you're going to get a raise. I didn't hear you wasn't going to get a raise, but it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. And I feel for whoever this is for, I think you think it's going to go well. Um, so for some, I feel you might think you're going to get a raise and maybe you don't because of the evaluation um, is what I think. That's for presumptive logic, reasoning, and guesstimate, but you plug it in how it resonates. So you should accept valid criticism in this aspect is the work evaluation. Um, I don't think it's going to go well. And I'm just being serious. Or not the way you think it's going to go. And for one, Taurus, a partner is about to sit them down. Have a serious relationship talk with them. Okay. And for one, Taurus, um, your partner is about to sit you down and have a serious relationship talk with you. So you plug it in how it resonates there, Taurus. Some kind of serious relationship talk energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it's about sex. Lack of sex. For some, it's about lack of sex. For some, it's about kids. For some, and for some, it's about kid. Okay. For some, it's about lack of sex. For some, it's about a kid. For some, it's about kids. Uh. So, um, I think you should accept valid criticism from your partner. Whether it's about, it sounds like you're not, y'all aren't having sex or much of it. And it sounds like they want more sex. Um, just saying. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But, um, wow, uh, just saying. That was never a problem in any of my relationships. But everybody's situation is different. I don't judge, okay? Um, and for one of you guys, it's about a child. Uh, so like one. And for some, it's about two or two plus. So you plug it in, how it resonates. House. A particular Taurus is about to move into a home with their partner. However, it's not, you think it's going to go wonderful, but 
you think this home is wonderful, but you're going to move in and realize it's not the home of your dreams. You thought it was. Oh, my Lord. Well, I mean, at least you're going to realize it. At least you're going to realize it. So if that resonates for you, you have a partner. Um, girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're about to move in with this person. Uh, I feel it's their home or y'all are about to purchase it or rent it together, how it resonates. But I heard you think, Taurus, you can be masculine or feminine. You think it's going to be your dream home, basically. You think it's going to check off all your boxes. It's going to be like white picket fence and roses and daisies and blah, 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 blah. But I heard once you move in, you're about to realize it's completely different. For one, it is haunted. Oh, shit. Whoa. For one, it's haunted. Well, that'd be a problem, I guess. Well, you know, well, I can't speak. The psychic medium over here can't speak. And that's just the damn truth. Um, I channel in from the spiritual realm. I made friends with the ghost. But, you know, but I'm not normal. So you can't you can't take it from me. And that's just the damn truth. <laughs> I made lemon out of lemonade and but I but that's the way I roll and buddy it's been wonderful. Just saying. But some people wouldn't have done what I'd done either. They wouldn't have embraced the gifts and the abilities and they wouldn't have kept moving forward. They wouldn't have made friends, you know, and that's just the truth. Um, so one of you guys is about to realize that your house is haunted or the house you're about to move into is haunted. You think it's the home of your dreams, but you're about to realize whoever you are, you aren't into paranormal or ghost or, or you might be, and you just don't really want to live it kind of thing. How that resonates, but you, However that resonates for one of those situations, you, you're about to move into a home soon. You think it's your dream home. You're about to realize it's not. Now, one, it's ghost related. One, it's not. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, it's your neighbors, upcoming neighbors. Okay, so, okay, so the issues are haunted house for one, two, crazy ass neighbors. But this is upcoming. You haven't moved into this home yet. But you think it's your dream home. So you plug the, your messages in, how it resonates. Angel of strength. A particular Taurus is about to get a fire under their ass. They realize they were lied to in such a huge way. About to start making serious phone calls. Serious. About to start creating negative tower moments for many people. Liars. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow, Taurus. Lots of fire. Well, in this aspect, this is you. Just saying. So a serious uh, fire is about to get lit under your ass. Fire sign energy here, Taurus. Um, with um, string Leo energy there. For some, it could be dealing regarding a Leo. Or you're just taking on Leo energy. Or you have Leo in your chart. Or what have you. But... Um, fire lit on your ass. I heard you realized you were lied to in a huge way and you're about to make several phone calls. So not just one, like a ton of freaking phone calls. And you, I heard you're going to start making negative tower moments for many people. So it sounds like a shit ton of people lied to you and you're about to basically expose their ass. Basically is what I'm gathering from this. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling here. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. And it is about to be very effective. Know this. And it is about to be very effective. Know this is what I heard. Wow. So it's about to be very effective. Know this. So whoever you are and how that resonates, Taurus. Holy crap. Nosebleeds are about to come significant in a Taurus's life soon. In AA meetings. Nosebleeds and AA meetings are about to come significant in a Taurus's life soon. So nosebleeds, you know, those, we know what that is. That could be you having a nosebleed or somebody you're connected to. And AA meetings, alcoholic, anonymous anonymous meeting whether it's you or somebody you're connected to you plug in and how it resonates love you guys so much hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste